Hi, uh, my name is Thomas Spirits, and the uh, topic I've chose would be drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, drug and alcohol abuse is a huge problem in today's world because the numbers keep keep growing, growing without really any signs of slowing down. I chose this social problem because I feel like people suffering from substance abuse problem cannot really help themselves out. They need society or someone to help them out. Uh, drug and alcohol abuse is a social problem because it affects society as a whole, whether you know it or not. <clears throat> uh, it affects society as a whole by, first of all, it starts with your family life. It makes your relationship with your family way worse. Uh, then it, it also affects the crime rate happening in the areas where drug abuse is a huge problem. It, the crimes go up by petty thefts all the way up to drug trafficking. Uh, the, it also affects the economy's co ec econ economic cost and uh, the taxpayers' money because they have to pay for uh, more EMS and police on the street. If you, uh, uh, and finally, it uh, also makes the hospitals more busy because the medical staff in the hospitals have to deal with uh, people overdosing and trying to save their lives. This is why I feel like abusing a su abusing substance is a huge social problem in today's world. Uh, in 2019, there's an estimated number of 35 million people who are abusing alcohol and drugs, while only one out of seven of those people were uh, receiving treatment for their problem. Uh, substance abuse doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone, regardless of your social class, your race, your age, etc. This is why uh, it is crucial that everyone in society should care as it could it, as it could even affect you even if your left I mean your friends your loved ones are uh, are affected themselves. I, uh, I feel like if society cared more about this and there's more programs to help them out like more rehab facilities and more money invested into them it could save millions of lives as it as it could also help out a lot of people who are affected get treatment a lot easier. Uh, right now, the government has known f that substance abuse has been a problem for a really long time, uh, but the way they've been dealing with it has been horrendous because if you have a drug abuse problem and people throw you in jail for a couple of days, nights, uh, it actually makes your problem worse. You'll just you'll go out and you'll just go right back on the substances you were abusing um, and but lately lately uh, in places like Oregon in the states they just passed a bill that would decriminalize people with a uh, who have substance abuse problem and they would not get sent to jail and they would either get a uh, tr like a small ticket or they would get the chance to get sent to a treatment uh, center where they can actually get help I feel like this is a huge step in the right direction. If you if you want to get over this problem, um, because sending people who need help to a rehab center is a lot better than sending them to jail. Uh, some organizations that are helping out people who have a substance abuse problem, uh, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, or known as NIDA, is in an organization that specializes in research about about uh, better ways, better treatment, so it's easier for someone with a ab substance abuse problem to get help. Also, it specializes in uh, ways to prevent drug and alcohol abuse. That, and uh, also another organization that helps them would be uh, Drug Free Kids Canada. This organization helps by uh, by, uh, by helping out the families who have kids who are affected by people by a, uh, having a substance abuse, also helps kids kids learn about the dangers of having a substance abuse. Uh, and finally, the sub uh, having a substance abuse has a huge impact on uh, Canadian society today. It is estimated that about twenty one percent of the population had a substance abuse pr problem in their lifetime with alcohol being the most commonly used substance that is being abused in Canada. 
this issue is becoming worse and worse by the days, unfortunately. In my opinion, the only way to slow this problem down is to invest more money into rehab centers and to decriminalize having a low amount of illegal drugs on a person. And that is all. Thank you.